Hello. In today's video, I will demonstrate how to set up a Kubernetes environment on Mac OS with the new chip architectures, ideal for testing purposes. In our demo, we will install Kubernetes using Kind, which stands for Kubernetes in Docker. Kind is a tool that utilizes a Docker image provided by Google offering nearly all the features available in the real Kubernetes environment. Next, we will create a cluster to host our application. After that, we will create a Docker image on the host based on our microservice. And within our Kubernetes cluster, we will take an unconventional approach by loading the container images directly from the host machine rather than relying on a traditional image registry. At the end, we will deploy the microservice on the Kubernetes cluster using Kubernetes deployment and service manifest. So let's get started. So on my MakeBook with M1 chip, we will install kind using brew install command. So it is pretty simple. All you need to do is to run this command. Once installed, we create a cluster using this command. So cluster has been created. You can check the information about the cluster like this. As you see, the Kubernetes command line is installed as well. Let's check. So now we need to containerize our microservice. So we have cluster, we need a Docker image that containerize our microservice application. Now we will create a Docker image based on our microservice application. This is our microservices consists of this endpoint here. It is a Spring Boot application and expose these paths. This is the jar file created using this project. I put it here. This is the jar file, microservice proto, prototype. And this is the Docker file. We are just copying and running the jar file. So on the host, we will create an image like this with this tag. Image has been created. We will not use any registry. We will just copy our image from the host to the cluster using this command. Kind provide this utility, load Docker image and you need to specify the Docker, the image name, and you specify the cluster name. It is loading, so we don't have any feedback, but it seems it has been loaded. However, it is possible to check whether the image is available on the cluster. So we can check using this command. So our Kubernetes cluster is a Docker container. So let's check. Now using this command, So this is a command from the Docker. We can execute a command on the target container. And this is the command executed there to list the images available on the container. And we see that our created images is also available there. So now we have Kubernetes cluster. We have an image. We send the image to the cluster. So we are now ready to deploy our application. For that, I prepared the two manifest files. You see here this one for the deployment. So this is my manifest. The most important part is this here. We specified the image and this is our application name and we expose this port and here image pool policy because we are not using any registry. We are just using the on the cluster available images. We tell Kubernetes to not pull anything from any registry. So now let's run this command or apply this deployment to our cluster using the Kubernetes control command apply f micro service deployment. Let's see. And now we can check whether pods has been created. And as you see, our application has been successfully deployed. You see that the status is running and this is the pod. Now we define a service. I prepared this manifest, this one, and we define the service to expose the port to the Kubernetes cluster. So let's apply. And here we are using node 
port. It means that we are only forwarding the port to the node. So let's apply this and create service. It's done. We can check using this get services. And as you see, we don't have any external IP. Therefore, this is another way we can forward the IPs from the node to the host. And for that, we execute this command kubin control port forward service. This is the name of our service. And to make this from the node to this one from the host. Let's run this. So it has been done and we can check in our browser. And here let's access the local host and our endpoint is here. And as you see, microservices working. So we have deployed microservice on Kubernetes in Mac OS with M1 ship. I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching and bye.